So, let's discuss kung ano nga ba yung golden gnomon. So, ang golden gnomon daw ay isang obtuse isosceles triangle. Obtuse na isosceles pa. Ibig sabihin ng obtuse triangle ay sa isang triangle, mayroon siyang isang obtuse angle at saka dalawang acute angle. So, di ba nasolve natin kanina na ang golden gnomon ay mayroon 108 degrees 36 and another 36. Di ba ang ibig sabihin kasi ng obtuse ay angle na more than 90 degrees but less than 180. Di ba ang golden gnomon ay isang obtuse ay isosceles triangle. May isa siyang obtuse angle at saka dalawang acute. Yung acute angles are angles below or less than 90 which is this one. So tama na yung answer na 108, 36, 36 based sa ating definition. Now for next definition which is the ratio of the hypotenuse to the base is reciprocal of the golden ratio. So, paano yun? So, yung ratio daw ng hypotenuse. So, pag ikakat natin to dito, same kanina, na yung PC ginawa natin sa golden triangle, ikakat natin into two equal parts ang ating golden gnomon or yung golden isosceles ng triangle. Now, for this one, let's consider the uh, one side. One side lang consider natin. Di ba, yung hypotenuse, ito yung longest side. And then, this one, the base. Na ang sabi dito, ang A daw or yung hypotenuse over the base, yung base na consider natin dito sa definition is the whole base or the whole length talaga ng ating golden gnomon. Na o, A over B daw is equal to the reciprocal of the golden ratio. Ibig sabihin ng reciprocal is 1 over phi. So, ganyan, ganito ang, ang definition na yan. Now, based dito sa definition, ipoprove natin mamaya. Kung makukuha ba natin itong 108, 36, and 36 or the interior angles of this golden gnomon. So, gagamitin natin tong, itong equation na to on how to solve the interior angles of, an, of a golden gnomon. Now, another definition for golden gnomon is the three angles is in proportion of 1 is to 1 is to 3. Now, nakalimutan ko kanina i-discuss yung sa golden triangle, di ba? Sinabi ko kanina ang golden triangle ay may proportion na 1 is to 2 is to 2. Now, iba yung proportion for golden gnomon, which is 1 is to 1 is to 2. Ang ibig sabihin lang yan, ang angle niya, di ba kanina yung sa golden, uh, golden triangle na may angle na 36, 72, 72. Ang minimin ng 1 na yan ay itong, 6, ay itong 36, 1. Bakit siya tinawag na 1? Kasi siya yung basis. Kasi pag 72 divided by 36 is equals to 2. Kaya yung ratio niya is 2. Kaya yan, 1 is to 2 is to 2. Kasi yung isang 72 naman, ganun pa rin ang gagawin mo. 72 divided by 36. Kaya 2 pa rin. So, 1 is to 1 is to 2. Now, for this one naman, sa golden gnomon naman, ang ratio naman niya is 1 is to 1 is to 3. Kasi, kasi nga, yung basis natin, pag mga proportion na ganito, ang basis natin, yung pinakamaliit na value. So, di ba 1 is to 1 is to 3. Bakit yan 3? Kasi 108 divided by 36 is equals to 3. Kaya, ang ratio nila ay 1 is to 1 is to 3. Kasi naman, 36 divided by 36 is equals to 1. Ganyan. So, ganyan yung pagkakaiba ng proportion or ratio ng angles ng golden triangle pati golden gnomon. Now next, ang gagawin natin ay isosolve natin tong 108, 36, 36 to prove na yan nga yung value o yung interior angles for golden gnomon. So let's prove the value of an interior angles of a golden gnomon is 108, 36, and 36 gamit yung definition kanina. So diba, yung uh, inassume natin, same sa golden triangle, inassume natin na this one, which is the long, this one, the shortest Shortest leg na actually to pag sa golden gnomon kasi mas mahaba na yung base kumpara dito sa uh, two base uh, two legs. Now for golden gnomon, para ma-prove natin na tama yung angles na nakuha natin kanina, gagamitin natin pa rin yung A and B. And then since ay uh, i-assume natin na yung pinakatip or yung pinakatip na angle na isang golden gnomon ay theta. And then, since kinat na natin yung 2, same, sa, same kanina, magiging theta over 2 na siya. So, na this whole base naman, itong B sa baba, yung long leg ng ating golden gnomon, ay magiging B over 2 na. Kasi kinat natin into 2 equal parts ang ating golden gnomon. So, ang base ngayon, new base, which is this one, kukonsider natin tong right triangle na nakuha natin. Na, na isolate ko na from here, base dito dito. 
So, magiging ganyan na yung figure ngayon. Now, same kanina, kunin pa rin natin yung theta, yung value ng theta. So, dapat, ang answer ng theta dapat dyan ay magiging 108 degrees. ba diba? ganito yun. And then, dito dapat ay magiging 36 degrees and then 36. Now, let's prove this one na ganito nga ang, ang kanilang interior angle. So, gamit ang sukatoa, ang so ang gagamitin natin, which is sine theta is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. Hype na lang lalagyan natin that. And then, let's substitute the value. Now, for sine theta, ang theta na gagamitin natin, hindi na itong theta na to, kundi itong theta over 2. Kasi ito yung consider natin. Applicable lang itong sukatoa sa right triangle. For theta, ilalagyan natin theta over 2. Opposite side pala ng ating reference angle. Do, yung reference natin is itong theta. So, yung opposite niya o yung kaharap niya, itong b over 2. Kaya, b divided by 2 over hypotenuse. Now, yung hypotenuse, obviously, which is A. And then, simplify muna natin to. Kailangan natin tong B over 2, divide, i-divide natin sa A. So, di ba, B over 2, same kanina. And then, imbis na i-divide, it times na lang natin, pero 1 over A na ngayon. So, magiging B over 2A. So, yan na ngayon. Now, pag ilalagay natin dito, sine theta over 2 is equals to B over 2A. So, masisimplify pa natin to kasi dapat theta lang ang maiwan dito sa left side. Now, for B over 2A, ang gagawin natin dito ay i para masolve natin tong theta, theta over 2 na lang ang matira dapat. So, dapat gagamitan natin ng inverse sign or yung arc sign sa kabila to find the value of theta. Now, times B over, kakapi mo lang tong 2A. Then, ganyan. Remember, may ganito sa trigonometry, yung mga arc sign or inverse sign. Now, for theta over 2 equals to sign or, shift, or arc sign B over A. Di ba kanina, ang definition kanina is A over B is equals to the reciprocal of the golden ratio which is 1 over phi. So, yan ngayon. Pero, ang nakalagay dito is B over A. So, ibabaliktad lang natin. Dapat, pag B over A ang mangyayari, itong 1 over phi, magiging phi na lang. Ganon. Katulad kanina, nabalik, kanina baliktad naman, naging 1 over phi. Imbis phi yon Ngayon, naging phi na lang, imbis 1 over phi. So, pag i-simplify natin to, itong b over a, magiging, ano na lang yan siya, phi over 2. So, ganyan na yan. Kasi wala na yan siyang, hindi na siya magiging 1 over phi. Baliktad kasi yung b over a. Imbis na, uh, imbis, yung 1 over phi, applicable lang sa a over b. Na kapag a, b over a naman siya, magiging phi na lang siya. And then, remain ang over 2. Yung divided by 2, yung 2 kanina. O ba diba, yung sa phi, always yan ang phi, which is 1.618, the value of the golden ratio. So, ito, isa-substitute mo lang ito. Magiging 1.618 na lang yan. So, pag i-rewrite natin, theta over 2, uh, arc sine 1, arc sine of 1.618 over 2. So, ganyan na siya. Now, pwede mo yan siya input sa calculator. So, kailangan, gagamit ka talaga ng scientific calculator to find the value of sine, arc sine, or inverse sine, And then times 1.618 over 2. Yan muna ikakalculate mo. Haya, pabayaan mo muna itong theta over 2. Na kapag makalculate mo na yan siya, itong theta over 2 magiging, uh, itong, itong sign na yan, itong uh, inverse sign na yan, multiplied by the value 1.618 divided by 2, ang answer niyan ay 54. Na 54, remember. Tapos silalagay na lang natin dito. Then, 54, pero kailangan theta lang inahanap natin. So, kailangan mawala yung 2. So, i-cross multiply na lang. I-cross multiply natin same kanina. So, itong theta times 1. Imaginary yan ang 1, pero may 1 yan dyan. Then, 54 times 2. So, theta is equal to 54 times 2. So, theta is equal to 54 times 2 is 108. Now, theta is 108 degrees. Same sa ating naunang figure, uh, naunang nakuhang value which is yung 108 is equal to theta. So, tama yung answer natin. So, ganito yung way ng pagkuha ng value ng interior angles ng golden nomon. Di ba, diba, automatic na yan na 36-36 at uh, 36-36 yung dalawang naiwang angle kasi, di ba, sinabi ko kanina, yung interior angles ng isang triangle, always yan siya equal to 180. So, minus mo lang yung 108, which is equals to 72 degrees. Now, since may, may dalawang angle pa na natira, assuming hindi natin alam na 36 yan, so, i-divide mo lang by 2 yan. 
<clears throat> so, 72 divided by 2 is equals to 36 degrees. So, kada angle, kada isang base angle, ang value niya ay 36 degrees. So, that's it for our golden triangle and golden nomon tutorial. I hope you've learned something on how to get the interior angles of both the uh, golden nomon and triangle. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then hit the notification bell para lahat ng mga videos na i-upload ko ay magiging updated kayo. And then for, please like this video if you like. And then if you have any questions, you can comment down below. And then I will try to answer if you have any questions. So thank you for watching.